The idea is simple, a bunch of people are sent to an island to compete to be the sole survivor, but there's 10 things you didn't know about the show, and today I'm going to cover that. Let's get into the video, welcome back to Finale. Number 10, believe it or not, everyone gets paid on the show. The winner of Survivor walks away with $1 million, which after taxes ends up being like $580,000, while second place contestants get a cool $100,000, Survivor villain Johnny Fairplay told TMZ that those who end up on the jury receive $40,000, and the first person voted off gets around $3,500. So it appears that everyone gets something for being on the show. Other contestants also get paid depending on how long they end up staying in the game. If cast members decide to come to the show's reunion, they get $10,000 each. Number 9, the cast can't just walk anywhere they want on the island. Fans might think that cast members can walk just about anywhere while on the island, but in reality they have designated areas they are allowed to roam. The contestants are living in the wild, so it wouldn't be smart to get lost in an unfamiliar territory with nothing but the shirt on your back when cameras aren't following your every move. Cast members aren't allowed to go anywhere they please since the show's crew also sets up camp near them. Producers wouldn't want the cast to see just how good the crew lives while they live in squalor. It's two people. We have four people left. Katie, Tyson, Laura. Number eight, they don't walk to the tribal council. Those long walks on the beach to tribal council are all for the show, according to TMZ Online who also states that the cast takes a long car ride along with their torches. The travel council is also a lot longer than the 10 or so minutes viewers see on the television, and it can take an hour or longer to film. Night, before we get to tribal council, you have a reward. Let me show it to you. Number seven, medics are always around. Survivor is a grueling reality competition show and it isn't for everyone. Thankfully, there are always medics close by if something happens to a contestant. Viewers have seen cast members hit by hundreds of bugs, get scary infections, and suffer from heat exhaustion. Before contestants even perform a challenge, they are all looked at by medics to see if they are fit enough for it. There are even psychologists nearby to monitor the mental health of the cast. Monica, I love you. Thank you, Monica. You guys are more than welcome. Number six, contestants already know what they'll be up against during the challenges. Viewers are tricked into thinking that the Survivor cast has no idea what's in store for them when they arrive at a challenge. Whether it's a physical game or mental, but in actuality, challenges are not a surprise. A member of the production crew walks the contestants through the challenges, and during this time, they can think of strategies and even ask questions. Because I just feel like being in the final five. Alright? <laughs> this Number five, the crew live like kings during filming. One thing is for certain, living on an isolated island with no personal belongings and little food to eat is tough for anyone, but for the television crew, they have it a little easier. Many people work on the show from cameramen, production, and medics, and they all need a place to stay. If there's a nearby city, the crew will live in hotels, but if they find themselves in an isolated area, cabins are set up with beds and bathroom facilities. Suri, you want to say it? The tribe has spoken. <laughs> Four contestants are recruited and they're usually models and actors. Thousands of people have applied to be on Survivor, but even if they appear to have the strength to be a cast member, they'll rarely make the cut. The show recruits people to be on the show and most of these people are actors and models, so this explains why many other contestants look so good. Every day got a story. I wasn't buying it. <laughs> no. So, they trade like- Number three, every player must stay around even after they are voted off. People who apply to be on the show or get recruited must take at least seven weeks off from whatever their real job is to be a part of Survivor. Even if the contestants are some of the first people to get the boot, they must stay in the area, or at least until the jury is picked, which can seem like a long time for anyone who gets voted off first. Not a hidden immunity at all. Worth a shot. That is just part of the vote. Number two, there are body doubles. This might be a shocker for to some fans, but Survivor uses a lot of body doubles during challenges. The reason for using body doubles is so they can capture the multiple shots, including shots from up above, close-ups, and more. If fans ever wonder how the camera crew gets shots of the contestants from up above and never hear a helicopter, it's because they shoot later using the body doubles wearing the same clothing. So she could understand me, and she got offended by that, Jeff. It's just a joke. It, we, we, we. Number one, Jeff Probst and producers make sure votes are read in a certain order to be more dramatic. How Jeff Probst always seems to pull the right vote in the exact right time to make the show that much more dramatic. Once the contestants fill out their vote to cast a member off, props and the show's producers sit around and decide which votes should be read in what order. No wonder the last few votes seem so climactic. Or mountain? Uh, mountain, but I get there via helicopter so that it's a tiny little spy. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye and take care, my friends.